Hello, Sarah Marshall here with your general life path number reading. One through nine. Okay, let's get her going. Hope you guys having a good day, good night. All right, what do you got for number one? Oh, huh. Wow. You are amazing. All right, let's get down to it. All right, so let's start with the lover's card, okay? This um, is like a um, need for stability, okay? And changes are taking place. Um, I also feel um, some sort of um, new professional and or social direction. Um, it also indicates um, a challenging situation, okay? And then you've got the Two of Swords next to it, which amplifies that, because that's exactly the card's meaning, okay? Um, challenges and um, decisions. Indicates um, the in-between or um, uh, a crossroads, okay? And then the One of Cups. So with the Ace of Cups here, this is, um, Cups is telling you to consider how the past is connected to your present, okay? Like... Um, possibly a, um, a repeated pattern or something coming up. And it also encourages you to look at other people around you and see if they're getting in the way of you progressing in your life. Two of Wands. The Two of Wands indicates that you um, are not ready to make your move and you need to um, have a clear plan before you proceed. It also indicates a choice of should I stay or should I go? I stay or should I go now? Two of Pentacles. This is um, managing your time wisely. You are trying to maintain balance in your life. Okay, there's something going on. You're trying to maintain balance. And, and, it, and it also reminds you that you are um, capable of tricky things. Okay, and that you, the experiences aren't really good or bad right now. They're just unpredictable. Okay, Six of Wands. And this is reminding you to believe in who you are. And your accomplishments. So have faith in what you've done so far. And this also indicates a victory. Okay, so that's good. Like, um, after a long journey, you finally made it. You know, maybe, like, you've made it home or something. Okay. Alright, then we've got... Alright, then we've got the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Six of Pentacles, this is taking one coin and getting two back. Um... Getting two coins and getting four back. Okay, this is um, um, like some sort of like magic abundance. Okay, magic abundance card. And it's telling you to open up the flow of the two-way balance of the universe. Okay. Um, it's also like um, where can you give more? Where can you take more? And where could you be more balanced with material possessions? Okay. 
And um, to think about what would you give if you have what would you give to people if you had all the resources in the world? Okay. Queen of Swords. Okay, so with the, with the Queen of Swords, this is um quick thinking, um seeking truth and clarity. Okay. This could also indicate um sharp and sometimes cold communication. And she finds it easier to reign over her life when she can see the bigger picture from a bird's eye view. And her message is that it's time for uh, direct communication and straightforward interpretations about your current situation. It asks us to be honest in our relationships, to evaluate your situation from a higher perspective. And if you are having trouble communicating something that is hard for the other person to hear, you, you can always tiptoe into the cup of empathy and compassion to help with your delivery. Alrighty, and then Nine of Cups. The ninth position, okay, that's really awesome. It signifies that your wishes are going to be granted, okay? It's like you're floating into your visionary dream state and you can see the Nine of Cups holding everything that you've been working towards, okay? And then also going from believing that only one of these cups was for you, but now you see that they are all for you. So you need to be open and receptive to this gift and these gifts that the universe is bringing to you right now. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.